Hi brownies, it's Daffodil here. So today I've got two challenges for you and they're gonna be split between two videos. So this is the first video. So the first challenge that I'd like you to do is to create some artwork inspired by nature, um, inspired by maybe some of the walks you've gone on in your um, one hour exercise and pop art. Pop art originates from the 1950s and 60s and it is a style of art based on simple bold images of everyday items such as soup cans and they're painted in bright colours. Pop artists created pictures of consumer product labels and packaging, photos of celebrities, comic strips and animals. One of the most famous artists to come out of pop art was Andy Warhol, and he liked to use bright colours and silk screening techniques. He liked using silk printing to mass produce artworks based on photographs of celebrities, like this image of Marilyn Monroe. She was a movie star who was very famous in the 1950s. Warhol liked making prints because it meant he could create multiples of the same image. And that's what we're going to do today. So this is what we're going to try and create. So first things first, we're going to go to the park and see what we can find, if we can find any nice leaves on the floor. I've also got a little helper here who's going to help me today. His name's Henry. touch ivy because that might irritate your skin and also stinging nettles might hurt too. Hey guys, do you recognize this place? So when you get back home, get some A4 paper or some scrap paper and some colorful pencils and pens. Start by folding your A4 piece of paper in half and then half again. So it looks like this. Then put your leaf on top of it and check that it fits within that space. Then unfold it and put your leaf underneath one of those quarters. Then lightly shade over the leaf and it should look a bit like this. I used an oil pastel here. Then put the leaf over the top and draw round it with a different colour pen or pencil and it should look like this. Then repeat that method four times on your paper with all different colours and it should look like this. <laughs> 